George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Hey buyers, would you be interested in a loan program where you can put down 12 to 15 percent, pay no mortgage insurance, get close to current market rates, and pay only a thousand dollars in closing costs? Probably. Thanks for coming into the creditjungle.com today. This is George Anderson, and this is part two of the Move Your Mortgage uh, presentation that we're doing here. And this is going to be going out to a lot of people. This is We're going to do some marketing on this, and this is going to show up on other places than uh, YouTube or Facebook. So I wanted to get into the numbers on this. We had kind of alluded to what I talked about previously in part one on this, but I wanted to give basically some a, a breakdown of how this works for you. Now keep in mind that we are the type of transaction we're using here is what's called a contract for deed. On a contract for deed, the seller of the property does not actually transfer title. So from a seller financing standpoint, there is nothing there that is going to trigger the due on sale clause that all mortgages have. And if we continue to remain in a high interest rate market, relatively high, um, I've got a little bit more breadth of experience on that, but compared to where we were a couple of years ago, even a year ago, where we were in the threes and in the twos, okay, a lot of these lenders might be looking for an excuse to call that loan due because they would love to get the three interest, three percent interest paid off and lend that back out at six. Now, the mechanics of the mortgage business don't work exactly that way, but I think people can understand some of the reasoning here. So, let's just go here and use an example of a home that if you are the seller, you bought this home. Uh, let's just say a year, two years ago, okay, and you paid four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for it. You put down the minimum down payment, 5%. Your loan was 403 and change, and now it's been amortizing, and you've got a loan balance of roughly $400,000. You've got an interest rate of 3%. Now, if your interest rate is a little bit above that, adjust the numbers. If it's a little bit below that, adjust the numbers. But this is just a good kind of a placeholder here to, to, so that you can see how the math works. Your principal and interest payment on this mortgage is $1,703 per month. I'm not counting mortgage insurance and taxes and, and interest because those things are going to be a pass through to the seller finance buyer. Okay, So whatever that payment is, whatever the escrows are, is going to be added onto that. The principal and interest, the difference here in these two numbers, this is a fixed component for the seller. Okay, Now the nice thing about this is, is that if you're the seller and you're offering terms with a market interest rate with, with loan terms and closing costs that are better than what's out there, you can typically get a premium on the house. And so maybe the list price of this home might, might have sold for $490. We're going to say that it can go for $500. This is something you want to talk with a real estate professional who understands these transactions. That's not me. I'm the loan officer. I'm the number cruncher. But I like to have the, the transactions that I've done personally. I like to have people minimum of 10% down, but 12 to 15 percent is better and in this example here I'm going to use a 12 percent down payment or sixty thousand dollars that the buyer is coming in with. Now the buyer on your property now they are going to purchase the home for five hundred less the sixty thousand they are going to owe you four hundred and forty thousand dollars on a contract for deed. Okay, That's forty thousand dollars more than what you owe the bank. Okay, So this is remaining equity that's in your home that you didn't liquidate, but that's okay. Because if you did, great. If you didn't, it's also great. But we're going to calculate a principal and interest payment here just for market purposes. This would be about where we're at. We don't care what the buyer's credit score is. We don't really care what their employment situation is, their immigration status. A lot of these things don't matter. If somebody's got 12% down, very, very low probability that they're going to default on this. But even if they do qualify for a loan, this gets even better and we'll, get, we'll hit that in the next video here. But anyway, so at 6%, their principal and interest payment is $2,638. So there is a difference here, a cash flow of $935 per month. Okay, so you've sold your home, okay? You've gotten most of your equity out of the home, but in addition to getting cash, you're now also getting cash flow. This cash flow is what we're going to port into the next transaction and in the next video we're going to show how that works. But 
you have this remaining equity here of $40,000, which is, again, this is the difference between what the buyer owes you and what you owe the bank. So what's happening with that $40,000? Well, it's generating $935 a month or $11,220 per year. On a $40,000 investment, again, you are getting a 28% rate of return on your money. And by the way, this money here, this is tax-free if you've been in the home for two of the last five years. This remaining equity here, remember, we've got this on a different video. Your loan is amortizing faster. In other words, your principal payment's going down faster because it's a lower loan amount and a lower interest rate, higher loan amount, higher interest rate. If this thing were to pay off, say, three years down the road, let's just say the interest rates come back down and this buyer decides to qualify, they can refinance this transaction and pay you off. At that point, you'll have been getting your 28% rate of return the entire time. But in addition to that, that differential between there, you may owe about $2,000 less on the contract than what theirs has been paid down. So instead of getting back $40,000, now you're going to get back maybe $42,000, which because the taxable event from the IRS standpoint was right here. That money is still, again, tax-free. So anyway, this is just a little teaser here, and I'm going to add on to this and answer some more questions. But thanks for coming into thecreditjungle.com today. This is George Anderson. Push button, get mortgage professional. I'd love to help you and figure out your personal situation and find out what works best for you to get the best possible financing terms on the home you're buying, but also on the home you're selling. Have a great day.